In June of last year, YouTuber Inferno Plus created a battle royale using the original Super Mario Brothers. It was playable in a web browser and worked almost perfectly on both Mac and PC. That lasted for about a month until it was completely shut down. Now we have Nintendo's best efforts at their own official Mario Battle Royale, Super Mario Bros. 35. It's not at all what I wanted or expected from Nintendo, but despite its flaws and its strange gameplay elements, it's actually loads of fun that everybody with a Nintendo Online account should try, assuming you actually like the original Super Mario Brothers and you're watching this video before March 31st. The late Mario Royale, otherwise known as DMCA Royale, had you playing one of a few random Mario worlds. It was you versus 98 other players and the first one to defeat Bowser wins. It's very straightforward. It's a race to the finish. Unlike Super Mario Maker, the other players you're playing against are intangible. You can't bump into them or anything. They're ghosts. However, all players affect the game world. Opponents can fling Koopa shells at you for a cheeky snipe. Only one player at a time can grab a power-up. Players with a star power can mow down other players. It's all in real time, and unlike most of Nintendo's online offerings, the netcode was relatively smooth. For a one-man operation, there were very little hiccups caused by lag. It certainly wasn't a slideshow like Mario Maker is most of the time. My good lord. Mario Royale was very well received by fans of 2D Mario games. The concept was great, and again, for a one-man team, it was very well supported for its short lifespan. The game even had a way for you to squad up with friends. It was the perfect game for me in my streams. I'm telling you all of this as a setup for what a Mario Battle Royale could have looked like. Instead, we got this, Super Mario 35, a sort of Mario spin on Tetris 99. The object of this game is to just survive as long as possible. Every enemy you kill gets flung to your opponent's screen, just like clearing lines in Tetris 99. This changes the way you play the game completely. Instead of going for speed, you're going for kills. But there's a lot of other things to take into account too. This game seems pretty divisive. A lot of people see it as just a multiplayer Mario 1. They play it for two seconds and then get frustrated and turn it off. But you can't play it like you would the original Super Mario Brothers. When I play a 2D Mario game, I hardly kill any enemies, only the ones that get in the way. When I play Mario 1, I try to just breeze through it. That's why Mario Royale was so fun to me. In Mario 35, killing enemies is the crux of the game, but it's not the whole story. Killing enemies not only sends them to your opponent's screens, but it also gives you time. You start off the match with just 35 seconds on the timer, and it's not Mario seconds, it's real world seconds. Different enemies give you different amounts of time depending on the difficulty of that enemy. You can also chain enemy kills together. Killing them with a fire flower gives you less time because that's just too easy. Time is kind of important in the beginning of the game and in certain situations, at the end where you might get trapped by some Hammer Brothers and need to stall. It's not so important in the middle to late game because there's going to be so many enemies that time is abundant. The Fire Flower is king here. Spamming that will pretty much clear the screen for you. Once you lose the Fire Flower, it's a mad dash to get a new Fire Flower. See, this is how you can get a Piranha Plant to just f*** someone's life up. Ho! Oh! Yo! I do be nasty, though. Clip that, but when you clip it, leave, leave, that, leave that part out. <laughs> That's where the game gets hectic. Coins are also very important, and in most cases, they're more important to grab than time. At any point in the game, you could press X to redeem a mystery item for 20 coins. It's completely random, but can award you a mushroom, fire flower, star power, or a pow block. If you have enough coins, you can just press X over and over until you roll a fire flower or a star power. 
to buy yourself enough time to get a fire flower in the level that you're on. This meta completely changes the way you'll play the original Super Mario Brothers. And if you're like me, this is a game that you've played many, many, many times throughout your whole life. So it's really cool to see this sort of spin on it. It makes you decide to take different paths to try to fish out the right power-ups or to grab that one-up mushroom for an extra 20 coins. It's also a strategy to pick certain levels, levels that will award you more coins or bigger enemies to kill and send to your opponents. The game starts off with a vote to pick the first level. This is dumb and useless because everyone just picks 1-1 one, one anyway. I don't quite understand how the game picks levels from there. It seemingly always goes to 1-2 after 1-1. One, one. Sometimes it goes to 1-3. After that, it seems completely random. Warp pipes will also generate random levels to warp to. I like to stick to 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, and 1-4. One, 1-1 one, one is just easy and has a lot of easy to grab power-ups. 1-2 gives you a lot of coins and has the warp pipes for the most flexibility. And 1-4 gives you a nice easy Bowser kill. 2-3 is also nice for farming coins and getting some cheap cheap kills. Cheap cheeps will surprise opponents if they're on a regular old level that does not normally have cheap cheeps. 2-2 would be good, but the underwater physics are just so bad it's not worth it at all. See, now, taking this all into account when playing the original Super Mario Bros. and being bombarded with enemies gives a bizarre nuanced strategy to such a simple game. Do I wish it was more like Mario Royale? Kind of, yes. I do miss just straight up racing my opponents and directly seeking them out with Koopa shells. But I also really like this game too, for different reasons. I guess because of the bizarre gameplay elements and the meta that it's inadvertently created, it makes it really interesting in a completely different way. Inevitably, people are gonna ask me how the online experience is because it's Nintendo and they're not really known for smooth online experiences, but I'm happy to report that it's pretty fantastic. But that shouldn't really come as a surprise. Unlike Mario Maker and Smash Brothers, Mario 35 doesn't require frame-perfect gameplay data. Yes, you're fighting these players in real time, but a lost frame or a buffer won't break the game. It might just take a second for the data to catch up. Each player is playing their own instance of Super Mario Brothers. Really, your game just needs to know, did my enemy make it to their screen? Are they dead? And that information can wait a frame or two. There's another gameplay element that makes this unique and that's the right stick. That's something taken straight from Tetris 99. And I'll admit, I don't really have this all figured out yet, and I don't think it matters all that much to get you some hot, crispy dubs. You can choose to send your enemies to players with the lowest time, most coins, attackers, or random. I've been sending them to lowest time players in the very beginning, because these players usually suck, and if they get KO'd, it's an easy 50 coins for me. I then switch to attackers later in the game to defend myself. That seems to work fine for me. I can't imagine an instance where sending enemies to the player with the most coins makes sense. Honestly, you could probably make it through the whole game never touching the right stick. But it is really cool to be able to see your enemy's screen, even if it is an incredibly small cropped window. The sad part, and the part that everybody's been talking about, is the fact that it's only available until March 31st. This limited window seems completely arbitrary. The game is available for free to anybody with a Nintendo Switch Online subscription. Making it a limited release doesn't make any sense to me, unless they want to start charging for it in the future. I would love to see some changes made, maybe an actual Battle Royale mode added. It is a simple game, so there's a lot to improve upon, but I love what's there already. There's not much to it, but it is really fun. I could see it getting old to some people pretty quickly, but I've been playing the original Super Mario Brothers my whole life, and that hasn't gotten old yet. It's my favorite game of all time, so putting this sort of spin on it is enough to breathe new life into the old dog.
I hope Nintendo keeps supporting it, making new changes, and hopefully great things can come out of this limited release. I still love Mario Maker Versus 2, but that's a completely different game that you're only playing against four people. And this is significantly less frustrating to play than Mario Maker Versus, and for that, I'm grateful. So what do you guys think about Super Mario Bros. 35? Is this something that you were interested in previously? Is this something that you tried out yourself? Leave it in the comments below, add me on Twitter, or any and all of this other social media garbage. Is there anything that you'd like to see added to it? Do you think there's anything that could make it a little bit better? Or did you give it a try, not really understand it, and did I convince you to give it another go? I feel like a lot of people just couldn't grasp the meta and what the other 34 players were doing, so they just gave up pretty quickly. But I feel like if enough people get it, they'll enjoy it way more. Anyway, we got new videos here at least once a week. Make sure that you're subscribed to see those because you can't rely on YouTube to just suggest them to you. You have to make sure that the button's gray down there and maybe click that bell. And we got streams over on twitch.tv slash wolfden. A lot of footage that you see here is from those Twitch streams. And you can drop a follow over there to know when I'm live over there. I forgot that I wanted to mention Wolfden clips. If live streams aren't your thing, we have what is essentially the greatest hits of every live stream. And we have one on Super Mario 35 right now. Give me a fire flower, I need it. Thank you. See, all you gotta do is ask the great Lord Mario and he will provide. Nice. Nice. So if you want to stay on YouTube, you got this, but if you like live streams, you can head on over to Twitch for that. And we could also talk over there too in real time if you want to give me your thoughts and opinions on the game. But of course, the most important thing that you can do to help us out is subscribe and share this video with a friend, a friend who is into the game, maybe just interested in Mario, maybe they gave it a try and just don't get it and you want to get them into it. Thank you guys very much. Have yourself a very good few days. I post another video. Goodbye.